Well, hello, my name is Christopher Scott, and I'm a small groups pastor of a local church. And in this video, I want to tell you how you can prepare to facilitate a small group discussion in your small group, right? So what are the things you have to do to prepare to facilitate a small group discussion? When I was in high school and college, there was a term that we often used where we talk about we're going to go do something and we're just going to wing it, right? I have a presentation in class. I'm not going to prepare. I'm just going to wing it. Or I'm not going to, you know, do a whole lot of preparation to write this paper. I'm just going to sit down at my computer and wing it. And when it comes to facilitating and leading a small group, you do not want to wing it, right? You want to show up prepared and organized, ready to facilitate and lead a discussion through the biblical text or on a topic that you might be looking at. So how do you facilitate a discussion? How do you prepare to facilitate a discussion? Well, how you prepare to facilitate a discussion looks a little differently based on what you are using, right? So uh, our church, a lot of our, our small groups use the Warren Wearsby Bible Study Guides to do a verse-by-verse -verse study of the biblical text. The Wearsby Bible Study Guides cover every single book of the Bible. And in theory, you can cover every single book of the Bible. And by doing these guides, if you do one lesson per week, you can cover the entire Bible in seven years if that was really your thing and your group wanted to shoot for it, right? Additionally, our church um, uses topical studies using DVD-based um, studies, right? And we use the Chip Ingram Living on the Edge material um, where the group puts a DVD in, they watch the DVD teaching for about 20 minutes, and then they uh, participate in a discussion together through the study guide, right? So how you prepare to facilitate a discussion through each of these is going to be different, right? So let's first talk about how you prepare to lead a discussion um, through a Bible study guide, such as the Warren Wearsby Bible study guide. This is just an example for you um, that you can, you, this is just an example of a study, right? That's what I'm using today. So, so how do you prepare to lead a Bible study guide, right? Facilitate a Bible study guide. The first thing you want to do is you want to pray, okay? Pray for the hearts of your people that are going to be in your group. Pray for yourself that you'd be able to do a good job asking questions. Pray for uh, people that they would apply what they're learning. First thing you want to do is just start to pray about the passage, start to pray about your people, start to pray about what you're going to study, okay, to prepare your heart for that. So that's the first thing you want to do is pray. Second thing you want to do is read the passage a few times quickly, right? So uh, this is a study guide for Daniel. One of our groups is going to be doing Daniel soon. So let's say lesson seven covers chapter seven of the book of Daniel titled Kingdoms, right? So that might be your lesson for that week. So read Daniel chapter seven a few times. Read it in the morning when you first get up. Take it, you know, if you're on your lunch break at work, pull out your phone and read Daniel seven there. Maybe read it in your Bible before you go to bed a few times. Um, but just read the passage a few times just to get a feel for the big idea of the passage and what's going on, okay? So that's the second thing you want to do is read the passage a few times quickly. Third thing you want to do is you want to read the Warren Wearsby Bible Study Guides. So one of the reasons I like using the Wearsby Guides for our church is they come with a commentary um, that supplements the study for the facilitator that's really good and really helpful for facilitators to give them additional background, additional helps, additional interpretation, and some application suggestions from the passage, right? And in this case, Daniel is an extremely difficult book to interpret, right? And so a commentary is really nice and helpful for a facilitator um, because a facilitator is not there to teach and preach, but they still have to have a feel for the passage and the background and the historical setting in order to facilitate and lead a discussion, especially when people have questions that come up like, who's Nebuchadnezzar? Who's Belshazzar? There's Belshazzar and Belshazzar in Daniel. What's the difference, right? So that's it helps the facilitator um, to have a guide they use, but also have a commentary that matches the guide and supports the guide in the interpretation that the guide has, right? So that's the third thing I encourage you to do if you're going to facilitate a small group and prepare to facilitate a small group is to read a commentary um, about that passage, right? So in our case, we use the Wearsby Guides. You can do something different. If you have a good study Bible, that's good too. Just look at all the study notes and read all the study notes. That's almost as good as a commentary. It's different, but it's almost just as good if you have a really good study Bible. And I have some links to some good study Bibles down below on Amazon if you wanted to buy one of those for yourself and your own study. So first thing you want to do to prepare to facilitate a small group is pray. Second thing you want to do is to read the passage a few times quickly. Third thing you want to do is to read a commentary or maybe some study notes in your study Bible. Fourth thing you want to do is take some time to work through the guide, right? Just go through and answer each question. Jot down some thoughts. It doesn't have to be long journal entries with correct grammar and punctuation and things like that. Just jot down a few thoughts. I think this, I think this, I think this. 
And if you're struggling with a question, don't get stuck on it, just move on. If you struggle with it, someone else in the group might struggle with it too, so don't worry about it, okay? So that's what you wanna do to facilitate a small group discussion. Uh, what you wanna do to prepare to facilitate a small group discussion. First, pray. Second, read the passage a few times just to get a feel for it. Third, you wanna read a commentary about the passage or the notes in a study Bible. And then fourth, spend some time working through the study guide and answering the questions, okay? So that's what you wanna do to prepare to facilitate a small group of a Bible study. And I have some links to the Wearsby Bible study guides down below in the notes if you wanted to pick up a few of those for your own study. Or maybe you wanna pick up Daniel, you know, it's an excellent one. So that's how you prepare to facilitate a Bible study using a Bible study guide. If you're gonna do a topical study using a DVD, like a lot of our groups at our church use the uh, Chip Ingram, Living on the Edge materials, that preparation is gonna look differently because you're not just using one or two tools to do a discussion. You got a TV, a DVD player, a study guide, things like that. So your preparation is gonna look a little differently. So about a month before the group starts, you wanna do a few things, okay? A month before the group starts, first you want to test the DVDs. Get the DVDs from your small group's pastor or buy them on your own, however that works, and then put them in your DVD player and let them play, make sure they all work. Nothing is worse than getting 10 people in your small group all to sit down to watch a DVD, the DVD plays for two minutes and then it starts skipping and won't work, right? So you wanna test it to make sure that they work, okay? Second thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have enough study guides for your group. It's always good to have plenty. Don't don't just buy the same amount of guides that you need for your group, always buy extras. It's worth it to make sure you have extras, especially for new people or people that forget. It's just, it's worth it to spend the extra 20 or $30 just so you don't have to stress about having extras in my opinion, okay? So first, test the DVD. Second, make sure you've got plenty of study guides. Third, you wanna make sure you got the right study guides, right? Make sure the study guides match the DVD that you're watching, okay? Additionally, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the zoom on your TV is correct because a lot of times with DVD studies, they'll put the notes for the study guide down below at the bottom of the screen. But if your TV is zoomed in, it's hard to see those notes. Sometimes the notes get pushed down below the screen if the TV zoom is pushed in. So you might need to bring the TV zoom back out in order to see those notes. That's what I saw in one of our groups that did this, right? None of the notes showed up or you could just see the very top of the note on each each slide, right? So you wanna do that, okay? Additionally, um, about a month before your group, you wanna look at the small group leader resources, right? So any, pretty much all DVD topical studies are gonna have some small group leader resources, tips and helps, usually at the back of the study guide, right? So the Wearsby ones, they have the leader's notes. They're gonna talk about um, what are some of the priorities for your groups? What are some of the rules for your group? They're gonna give you some uh, ideas on how to go about the group. They're gonna give you some notes for each session about maybe what to focus on and emphasize. So just read those and be prepared for your group, okay? So that's what you wanna do about a month before your group starts, okay? Before each week, there's some other things you wanna to do to facilitate a discussion and to prepare to facilitate a discussion. The first thing you wanna do each week is you wanna pray for your group, just like with the verse by verse. Pray for the group and pray for the hearts of the people that are gonna be coming. Additionally, you wanna watch the session before people come, okay? Spend some time, put in the DVD, watch it, take some notes, and uh, sit through the group just like you normally would if you were participating in the group. That way, when people show up to your group, you're ready to facilitate, you're ready to guide a discussion, you know where the topic's going, where the speaker's going, and where the discussion is gonna go. So that's what you wanna do is to watch the material. Third thing you wanna do is if there's any coaching videos, you wanna watch those, right? So for the Chip Ingram material, there's studies on true spirituality, and then on spiritual simplicity, and a couple others have some coaching videos built into the DVD or online that are designed for the facilitator, right? It's like two or three minutes of just coaching tips for the facilitator saying, this is what we're gonna cover, this is where people might struggle, this is what, how you wanna handle it, and this is maybe how you might wanna encourage the group to apply the material, right? So watch those coaching videos as you prepare for your small group um, and reference it, okay? Additionally, in the study guide, usually with the topical studies, you kind of watch the DVD, then you work through maybe five or seven questions in the study guide. And sometimes in those five or seven questions, there are passages you're gonna wanna read in the group and talk about. And if there's some of those passages in the study guide, you might wanna look those passages up in a good study Bible or commentary just to give you a good feel for what the passage is about, 
Or you might just want to look up the passage in your Bible just so you know the context of it, right? So what's going on here? What's he talking about? Is it Jesus talking? Is it Paul talking? Who's talking? Who's being quoted? Things like that. Um, so that's something else you might want to do. So hope this has been a helpful video for you as you learn to facilitate a discussion and as you learn to prepare to facilitate a discussion, right? Because you don't want to just show up and wing it, right? If you just show up and wing it in your group, the group is going to know that you have not prepared, right? So spend a little time, work through the passage, work through the material, come ready to facilitate a discussion and come ready to help people learn what God wants them to learn and help them apply what they are learning to their lives. My name is Christopher Scott. I hope you like this video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can subscribe up there and get updates on future videos. If you want to learn other small group facilitator tips, I got some of those videos up there. Uh, if you want to learn the Use the Warren Wearsby Bible Study Guides that I talked about, Bible Study Guides, I got some how-to videos over there, as well as if you want to use the uh, Living on the Edge materials, I got a couple of those videos over there. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you again on another video.